Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to enable Do Not Disturb mode and explain all of its settings on Realme C35, but it also works on any C series for Realme. Um, so in order to access our Do Not Disturb mode, we'll need to go to our settings, go for sound, and here is Do Not Disturb. From here I have it enabled, let it turn it off, and let me show you all of the settings. So the first one is people right here and you can change what uh, specific uh, people will be able to reach you. So if you press on conversations you can change that all conversation will be visible, priority conversation or none. And you can change the specific numbers after pressing this cog icon. Next is calls. You can enable start calls, calls only, your contacts only, anyone or none. You can also enable allow repeated callers, so if someone really tries to reach you, reach you like calls multiple times in a span of 15 minutes, uh, your phone will make a sound or start vibrating. So now if we press on the cog button, you can pick specific contacts that will be able to reach you. Next is messages and it works almost the same way as uh, contacts. You can pick start contacts, contacts or anyone, but there's no uh, repeated calls because it's messages. Now the next step is apps and here you can choose which apps uh, that will be able to interrupt you while you're in the do not disturb mode. Uh, here are alarms and uh, other interruptions and you can enable specific uh, app like uh, alarms or system sounds that will be hearable while in this mode. So right now I have enabled alarms, you can enable menu sounds, touch sounds, reminders or, or calendar events. Uh, in the middle we have schedules and here you can add or remove any schedule that you want. So for example let's press add more, select time. And let's call it sleeping. Press add and you'll be able to set up this schedule. So it will start on 22 and at 7 and that means that I will have stable sleep and nobody will be able to wake me by calling me or uh, messaging me. Now let's go back and go to duration for a quick settings. So that means when you scroll down your toolbar, scroll down even more, there's do not disturb right here. And right now if we enable it right here, it will be uh, on permanently until we disable it. But if you change it here, you can customize it in a quick settings. So if we press for one hour and press OK, scroll down again. If we enable it here, it will last for one hour. You can customize it by adding more hours or simply ask every time. Last option is to display options for hidden notifications. So if you press on that when you're in the dis do not disturb mode, no sounds from uh, there will be no sounds from uh, notifications, but you will see notifications coming on your screen. If you enable this setting, no visuals or sound from notifications, you won't see or hear any notifications. And if you go for a custom, you can customize this setting for yourself. You can enable to don't turn on screen, don't blink light, don't wake for notifications, hide notification dots on app icons, hide status bar icons at top of a screen, don't pop notifications on screen, hide from pull down shade. And that's all of the settings for do not disturb mode. Now let's just enable it right here. So we'll enable it until you turn off like that. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing to our channel. Leave a like and a comment below.